Well, it would seem some new images from Hypermist over on Twitter have reignited the fire around the hype that is season 14 of Apex Legends. As you know, we've got a lot of different leaks that have come forward in the past few months, and we know a lot about the future of Apex Legends. And then when you look at things like the more recent leaks from Shrugtoll that suggest some charms related to Vantage, it does look like we do in fact know who our season 14 legend will be, but we don't seem to know too much more about the character other than the abilities, which for some people will be more than enough, but for others, there's going to be a lot of questions, including who exactly is Vantage and why is she being released with a Goliath event, according to Thornton Smash. Well, it looks like we got a lot to discuss in today's video, including everything we do know about the new character Vantage coming in season 14. As you know, we do typically know who the next legend is pretty early. But first, guys, if you enjoy the channel and you want to help out in a massive way, then how about taking the time right now to like this video? And if you're new, smash down the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. So obviously, we got a massive set of leaks not too long ago that really gave us a good chunk of information regarding the future of Apex Legends and a lot of the overall character abilities that we can expect them to be developing and probably moving forward with in some way or another. They probably could be changed substantially, but most likely they will be a play off of what we see in the more recent leaks. But Taking a look at Vantage more specifically, we can say a character with some very unique abilities that are in her toolkit. So let's bring that up right now. As you can see here, the sniper kit, echo launch, and then what is basically a crazy sniper rifle for an ultimate is all set to be a very interesting character. Now, the thing that I have to say about this whole echo launch is it kind of really doesn't seem to be that powerful like this could play out differently when the actual character is released but for me it actually seems like it's going to be somewhat of a weaker ability however for the ultimate getting all that kind of seer information when you actually scope in on a target and then bonus damage etc might be one of the scariest abilities in the game considering that a team shot really could put you down fairly quickly. Also, the animation of putting the rifle together is pretty dope. The echo launch, again, could play out differently, but the launch part is at least interesting. However, the way you control echo itself and put it around the map seems kind of clunky and almost not very intuitive. Of course, it is somewhat of a smaller object, making it probably about as hard to notice as a crypto drone. So it could be quite easy to maneuver and get into place and be like a better version of Loba's bracelet. I guess it really depends on how it plays out in game. It could end up being a flop or it could end up being the next end all be all movement ability, which as you guys know, in Apex, we always see a character with good movement end up being the top choice for that season or potentially several other seasons as we've just now started to see Valk actually get some type of tweaks in the negative direction, which is really interesting with her heirloom right around the corner. But who is exactly Vantage and what is going on with this character and the new change of heart when it comes to the larger character models? One of the things we can tell is that Vantage will be a larger character. This, for a female, is actually going to be an interesting and unique situation. But when it comes to Apex, clearly we've had Caustic and Gibraltar for quite some time. And now we have the addition of Newcastle, who brings in another fairly large framed character into the mix. So what are the chances that we actually see a large female character get adopted and played if she is a movement character on top of that, I, 
I mean, it's very interesting, and I don't think it's going to be rare for people to play that. I mean, when you look at Overwatch in particular, May was a character that was used fairly often, so I just don't see why people wouldn't use a character like that in Apex, especially if the toolkit allows you to be a little more maneuverable or bring something unique to the team that you haven't seen before. So we think we get both of those with Vantage because the movement ability is there depending on how it actually ends up working, but the ultimate ability is definitely there and definitely brings a lot to the game which will inevitably make her a powerful character for coordinated team use, which is one of the problems that we have in Apex right now is how many legends actually get related or released, I should say, with some form of team function that uh, really requires you to be in comms with a full team and not playing by yourself. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this one. How do you think Echo Launch will actually be used? Can you think of some unique uses where the actual tactical ability would come in handy? Clearly, we can all come up with many uses for the ultimate, having all sorts of extra information about your target, as well as being able to do increased damage and cause increased damage for your team. Like, there's a lot to that that's absolutely amazing, but we don't need to you know brainstorm that so i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the actual tactical ability specifically do you think that that ability is going to bring anything unique to the game or are we looking at a flop situation with the first movement legend that will be releasing somewhat weak we do know that more recently Jay Beebs has went on record saying that it's probably a better idea to release items and characters a little bit stronger rather than weaker as it promotes people to actually use and enjoy the character rather than just letting it go down to the wayside. But guys, I'm going to be hooking one of you up with Valkyrie's heirloom this season. And if you want a chance to win, then check out the link in the description down below. There will be multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries that will help you increase your odds of winning if you so choose to use them. But it's all up to you and you don't really have to if you don't want to but of course when it comes to this new character for me i don't think i'll be switching from playing rampart and wraith as i normally actively do but uh, i definitely will probably check the character out a little bit more than some of the more recent releases i don't think i actually played newcastle more than three games before i was like yep yeah, i'm not having fun he's kind of boring I've actually not played Valkyrie until this season, and then I have not actually played Horizon more than maybe a game, So, as well as like Fuse. Like I really haven't played the new Legends as they come out because they haven't seemed very interesting to me whatsoever. And uh, that's kind of where we're at with the Legends and their releases over the past few seasons. I haven't seen anything that really makes me go, ooh, I want to play that character. So I haven't. Mad Maggie, of course, being one of the even less likely for me to play, but I did check her out on release. But at the same time, the Goofball Ultimate, yes, that's what we're going to call it, the Goofball, is absolutely the most ridiculously stupid idea that they've added into the game and I'll, I'll tell you why the goofball is literally the same thing as one of those crazy like waggle ball dog toys that makes all sorts of noises and doesn't roll straight it's one of those because all it does is make you run fast and make noise and that's exactly what that waggle ball does for my dogs. I don't know about you, but when I throw that thing, my dogs run faster and they chase this goofy ball that's going every which way and making all sorts of random noise. So that's literally where they got the idea for that ultimate. And I have no worse for wear about how goofy that thing is. 
But if you guys want to continue this conversation or maybe start a new one, head on over to the social media links. Give them a like, a favor, a follow, whatever you haven't done already. It will be greatly appreciated and go a long way to helping the channel in the future as well as the present. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, I just kind of waited for that mirage to come out of his invisibility and uh, let the ring do the final work to get that dub. I love this little emote right here, riding the uh, Sheila right out of here. But check out this video here if you guys are inclined. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to check out Vantage or any of the other new legends if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.